Hello, I'm Kerry Green, the head coach at Liberty University Women's Basketball. We'd like to welcome you to our annual Senior Awards Celebration. It's a time that we celebrate our team's accomplishment and our individual achievements. I would like to introduce you now to our virtual host, the voice of the Lady Flames, Jamie Hall. Thanks, Coach. Because of all the changes in the world right now, we're having the awards virtually. But in honor of our normal banquet, I just had a chicken breast, a salad, three pieces of cake, and a glass of diabetes-flavored sweet tea. I have to say, though, that uh, this is kind of weird, standing in a hall all alone. I'm talking to myself, getting no reactions. I can ask questions with no response. It's kind of like interviewing Rhea. It has been a challenging time for all of us. It just seems like it was yesterday that we were all sitting on a bus celebrating a win at North Alabama. Oddly enough, it seemed like yesterday, but it also seemed like 12 years ago. 2020 has certainly been weird. We've all coped in different ways. Sarah Baruta has played 3,000 pickleball games. Apparently her spirit animal is a 60-year-old. Laura has gone through athletic training withdrawal. I saw her taping the ankles of several of her neighborhood's cats. Uh, I do want to thank Emma, Mike, and Jess. Because of them, I've had enough Cheez-Its to get through quarantine. To think someone said, I've got this great idea. Let's make cheese-flavored wood chips. Billionaire. Okay, let's get to the honors. Our first awards are on the student side of student athletes. As a team, the Lady Flames finished the semester at 3-3-1. That sounds like a defense on a team with bad math GPA, which wouldn't be this squad. 3.31 GPA in the spring semester. Now here to present the academic award is the glue that holds the women's basketball office together, Grace Mangino. Everyone else will be talking about accomplishments on the court, but I have the privilege to talk about what these amazing women did in the classroom. Our first academic award winner goes to an ASUN all academic team member who graduated this May as an exercise science major with a 3.51 GPA. Our first academic award winner, ladies and gentlemen, Ashton Baker. I just want to say thank you for this academic award and I also want to say thank you to all of our academic advisors, Ruben and Lauren, you guys are great and you guys make our lives a lot easier. Our second academic award goes to an ASUN all academic team member as well who owns a team high 3.89 cumulative GPA as an accounting major. Ladies and gentlemen, our second academic award winner, Maya Berkman. Thank you for acknowledging my academic achievements. Now that we've talked about academics, let's talk about some of the on-court accomplishments of this year's Lady Flames. Liberty was named co-champions of the 2020 ASUN Women's Basketball Tournament. It was the team's first ASUN conference title and the Lady Flames 18th conference tournament championship overall. The Lady Flames recorded their 20th 20-win season in the last 24 years. Liberty went 11-5 in the A-Sun, marking their 22nd consecutive season with 10 or more conference victories. The Lady Flames advanced to the conference tournament championship game for the third consecutive season and the 21st time in the last 24 years. The Lady Flames ranked 31st nationally in rebound margin. They also ranked 49th in field goal percentage. Liberty went 5-1 in tournaments, including 2-0 in both the ASUN Championship and the Rue Holiday Classic, and 1-1 at the Miami Thanksgiving Classic. The Lady Flames averaged 69 points per game, their highest scoring season since 2013-14. Liberty recorded its two highest scoring conference tournament games in program history, scoring 91 points in the ASUN quarterfinal against Kennesaw State, and 90 points in the ASUN semifinal against North Alabama. Three Lady Flames, Kean Green, Emily Lytle, and Ashton Baker, averaged double figures in the scoring column. This was the first season since 2010-11 that Liberty had three double-digit scores. 
As far as some individual accomplishments, Kiara Johnson Graham was selected to the WBCA So You Want to Be a Coach program. Ashton Baker was ASUN All Academic Team on the Miami Thanksgiving Classic All Tournament Team and was ASUN Player of the Week on February 25th. Asia Todd was the ASUN on the ASUN All Freshman Team, Liberty's first ever honor in that category, was also on the ASUN Championship All Tournament Team, was the MVP of the Rue Holiday Classic and the ASUN Newcomer and Freshman of the Week on March the 3rd. Maya Berkman was on the ASUN All Academic Team, was also on the Rue Holiday Classic All Tournament Team. Kean Green was ASUN First Team All Conference, Liberty's first ever ASUN First Team honoree, was Virginia SID Second Team All State, scored her 1,000th point on January 11th against Jacksonville, becoming the 16th member of Liberty's 1,000 point club. Emily Lytle was named to the ASUN Championship All-Tournament team after leading all players with 51 points during the tournament. It was her second straight ASUN All-Tournament team appearance, and she was also on the Rue Holiday Classic All-Tournament team. Bridget Retstadt, she finished the season in the coveted 500-500 club at uh, number 45 on Liberty's career scoring list with 652 points and number 28 on the rebounding list at 509 rebounds. And now on to the next award. This presenter has one of the toughest jobs in all of athletics. He's got to make stooges like me sound smart. And he does a pretty good job. Here to present the metric award, although personally I prefer imperial units, my road trip roommate for the last 12 years, Paul Carmony. It's actually been 14 years, Jamie. 14 long years. That's an easy stat to remember. Speaking of stats, the metric award is based on the Lady Flames effectiveness with certain players on the court. This season, the Lady Flames outscored opponents by 220 points while this player was on the court. Best in the team. Ladies and gentlemen, the metric award winner, Ashton Baker. I just want to say thank you for the metric award. Our next award involves the new faces that came on campus this year, and to present it, it's my pleasure to introduce Dan Lumpkin. Thank you, Jamie. It is my honor to introduce the Lady Flame Newcomer of the Year. It was an extraordinary year for our team. We were blessed to see growth throughout the season, and it was exciting to see our young players step onto the court and help us win tough games late in the season. This young lady became Liberty's first ever ASUN All-Freshman Team honoree. She was also named MVP of the Rue Holiday Classic in Kansas City, and she was at her best at tournament time, making the A-Sun All-Tournament Team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lady Flames Newcomer Award winner, Asia Todd. Hey, thank you so much for the award. And now for the rebounding award, which may be more prestigious on this team than winning a Nobel Prize. And it's only appropriate, one of the best rebounders in Liberty history, handed out. She had more in common with Dennis Rodman than just blonde hair. She led the league in rebounding and averaged 21 points and 11 boards her junior year. Katie Feenstra Matera. Rebounding has always been a passion of mine. Coach Green would never let me shoot a three, so I could never win in that category. So I thought, 6'8", rebounding? I think I could own that one, and it kind of just stuck. Rebounding is a tough, gritty job. It takes strength, timing, and all-out hustle. Now, for this year's best rebounder on the Lady Flames, this player grabbed a team-high 7.5 rebounds and is ranked 23 nationally with 3.9 offensive boards per game. She finishes her Liberty career ranked 10th overall with 673 total rebounds. Ladies and gentlemen, the top rebounder is Miss Kian Green. Thank you so much for this award. The only thing our next presenter likes more than a good mismatch is a good bag of popcorn in the snack sacks. Here to present the most improved award is Coach Solo. Thank you, Jamie. Um, I do like popcorn, but I also enjoy hard work. I am here today to present the most improved player award and this um, our work goes to a young lady that had the opportunity to work with for the past uh, two years. She have exemplified what uh, 
player development is all about. You know, you have seen her work ethic throughout the season, uh, not just what we see during game, but also what we see uh, behind the scene in terms of our investment every day. Uh, that she come into practice, she put in the time to work extra, and, and we have seen the reward uh, when she played against Kansas State, North Alabama. Um, so we are really excited for her, ladies and gentlemen, Maya Buckley. Thank you for this award. I will continue to work hard for the next season. Next, we have Andy Bloodworth who's lived with the burden of being a post player trapped in a guard's body her entire life. Here to present the Flame Award, Coach Blood. All right, thanks for that introduction, Jamie. Um, he's laughing, but just so you know, I can be pretty tough inside sometimes. Anyway, today I have the privilege of sharing our Flame Award winners from this season's uh, Lady Flames team. Our Flame Award is given to the player or players who display exemplary character both on and off the court. And this season, we have two recipients. The first Flame Award goes to a theology and apolog apologetics major who has earned a 3.87 GPA in her first year here at Liberty. On the court, she started the final 12 games of our season, including a 14 point and seven rebound performance in our ASUN semifinal victory at North Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, our first Flame Award winner is Miss Audrey Clark. I'm honored to receive the Flame Award and I just wanna thank my coaches and my family and my teammates. I love you all. Now this Flame saved her best basketball for the end of the season. This ASUN all tournament team member put us ahead for good on a tough three-point play with 35.6 seconds left in the North Alabama game of the semifinal A-Sun game championship. Ladies and gentlemen, our second Flame Award winner is Miss Emily Biden. I'm honored to receive the Flame Award. To me, this was the highest award that I could have ever received. For my coaches to be able to recognize my character and to say that it's the same on and off the court and in and out of their presence means a lot because we're called to be imitators of Christ. I can honestly say that my life has flourished at LU. I've grown spiritually, I've grown as a basketball player, and I've grown as a student. And I have the leadership of the school, the professors, and my coaches to thank for that. Although LU is not perfect, and no school is, no human being is perfect, I think that our leadership is strong, and I believe that all of our professors and our coaches are committed to the mission, and that is to go and make disciples of all nations, not to win basketball games, not to win championships, but to go and make disciples. I'm proud to say that I'm a student athlete at Liberty University. Thanks. Wow, how about that backdrop at Audrey's house? It's kind of like a Norman Rockwell painting. That's beautiful. What a couple of months it's been for our next presenter. First, like myself, he had to deal with the trauma of the hibachi buffet being closed. Then in the midst of the lockdown, he got married. That seems like pretty good timing. Here to hand out the Eagle Award, my buffet buddy, Alexis Sherrard. Jamie, thank you for that introduction. Uh, yes, we had a... COVID-19 approved wedding. We were blessed to have Coach Green marry us and uh, it's been a blessing ever since. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, my award is the Eagle Award and the Eagle Award is presented to the player who excelled on the court and easily recognized as a major contributor to the success of our program. This junior recorded one of the best seasons by a point guard in program history. Her 111 assists were the most by Lady Flame in five years, and her 11.2 points per game were the most by a Liberty point guard in 21 years. She finished among the A Suns' top five players in both assists and steals. Ladies and gentlemen, the Eagle Award goes to our own Miss Ashton Baker. 
I just want to say thank you for the Eagle Award and also thank you to my teammates because without them, I wouldn't be getting this job. Well, if there's one thing that I've learned tonight, I don't think any of us has much of a future on Netflix. But if there is a documentary about us, kind of like The Last Dance, the can't attend a dance, maybe they could get Bradley Cooper to play my role, or at least Lady Gaga. For Coach Green, they could get Vincini from Princess Bride. And after that suggestion, this may be the last time I host the Lady Flame Awards. Joking aside, it has been my pleasure to be your host and to be a part of this special team. Now to wrap up the ceremony with the senior recognitions, here's my friend, Coach Kerry Green. Thank you, Jamie. I don't know if you noticed, the barbershops are open. You might want to think of getting an appointment. This time, we'd like to recognize and thank our two seniors, Kian Green and Kiara Johnson Graham. These two have led our team to three conference championship tournament games. These two have led us into one NCAA tournament. tonight the voice of the lady flames jamie hall thank you for joining us in this special virtual celebration god bless and good night